the Public Service uh, Superannuation Age of Retirement Bill, uh, which, Minister, you will be aware will allow public servants to work beyond their retirement age if they wish. Uh, I know the Bill has passed through the Shannon and is passed second stage here of this House. However, I continue to be contacted uh, by public servants who are close to birthdays uh, and close to the reaching age of 66 and who need this bill to pass uh, so that to allow them to continue to work into the future. So an update on this bill would be much appreciated. Thank you, Deputy Minister. So I propose to take questions number 66 and 69 together. The Public Service Superannuation Age of Retirement Bill of 2018, which provides for an increase in the compulsory retirement age to 70, for public servants recruited prior to the 1st of April of 2004, was published on Monday, the 9th of July. It passed all stages in the Shannon on Tuesday, the 17th of July, and completed second stage in the Doyle on the 7th of November. The bill is, excuse me, completed second stage in the Doyle on the 7th of November. The bill is provisionally scheduled for committee stage in the Doyle on the 11th of December. While scheduling of time for the enactment of legislation is ultimately a matter for the Oireachtas itself, through the Business Committee, my intention is to ensure enactment as soon as possible. Once the bill is enacted and commenced, the vast majority of public servants recruited prior to the 1st of April 2004 will have a new compulsory retirement age of 70. For the most part, those public servants have a compulsory retirement age of 65. Under the commencement of the Bill, the current compulsory retirement age continues to apply and public servants reaching the age of 65 are required to retire. To accommodate public servants who reach the age of 65 in the period between the Government's decision to increase the retirement age and the commencement of the necessary legislation, I arrange for the introduction of interim measures. The interim arrangements, which much, must respect the current statutory position of the compulsory retirement age of 65 provided for a temporary solution to affected public servants by allowing them to be rehired for a period of a year until they reach the age of eligibility for the state pension, which is 66. Existing retire and rehire arrangements are being used to accommodate affected public servants in each sector. <laughs> 